Mark Stein in the New York Times reporting that the Hornets have formally offered Mitch Kupchak the GM job in Charlotte. Kupchak was the GM of the Lakers for 17 years, won four titles. He will replace Rich Cho, who was fired in February. Byron, you have worked with Mitch Kupchak at said Lakers organization. What is your feeling about this hire? I think it's a good hire uh, you know, for the Hornets. Number one, like you said, when you look at his resume, you know, four, four um, NBA championships as a general manager. Now the thing he's going to have to do, obviously, when he gets in there is talk to Kumba and make sure he's okay. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure he's going to want to talk to Mitch and find out what direction this organization is going in and probably sit down with Mitch and MJ. Uh, but I think the respect level, you know, somebody who's won championships <laughs> Mitch as, a player, as, as, in. <laughs> as a player and, and as a GM, that's a hell of a picture, though. Right? Where, where where am I? I was gonna where say I was gonna bounce well, that I, I was question. a rookie, so I'm I'm hiding right behind Kareem, <laughs> just ducking under the trees like, under there oh, by Bob McAdoo. <laughs> 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 but I do think this is a good hire for New Orleans. I mean not New Orleans, I mean Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you're excused yes, on that one. Thank you. The Hornets, the name yeah, Hornets. I'm still, I'm still yeah. Yeah. it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oklahoma City sometimes. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it's weird. First of all, I always thought that Mitch got a bad rap because when you have bosses that want to make dumb decisions, mm -hmm. no matter how smart or justified we are in doing the right thing, sometimes we just got to listen to those bosses, right? <laughs> we just got to go along to get along. And you end up looking bad as a result, but it wasn't really your fault. Mm -hmm. So I thought mm -hmm. Mitch caught a lot of that because of decisions that Jim Buss had wanted and directions that Jim Buss wanted to take. At the same time, I also feel like Mitch it was from an era where, you know, he was grew up and groomed in an era where uh, Lakers exceptionalism was a thing mm -hmm. and uh, everybody wanted to be a Laker and all that. And when those dynamics changed, mm -hmm. he didn't adapt. And I, it reminds me a lot of actually Joe Dumars uh, for different reasons. Joe Dumars was the best executive in the league for a decade. And then things changed, but he didn't adapt quite as quick as the change. And uh, very quickly, Detroit fell apart as a result. Does that mean Joe Dumars and Mitch Kupchak forgot about basketball? Not they at all. Forgot talent evaluation? Not at all. They're not good at this anymore? Not at no, all. No, it's just they didn't adapt quick enough, but give them some time. They'll figure it out. And, and hopefully Mitch has learned basically some of the, the different paths or whatever. And hopefully I think Joe Dumars gets a, a shot at some I was about to point. say, does that yeah. mean that we can get Joe Absol Dumars I, I, a second Joe shot? Because really he got shot deserves off. it. Right. Yeah, he should have got a shot already a long time ago. See, I don't know what the difference we don't, is. We don't, we don't, <laughs> 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 yeah, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, I didn't. But no, but, but I, like, I, I do want to say that sometimes when people, things like that happen, uh -huh. right? We just write them off, that's it, right, never again. Right, right. And, and we don't give them a chance, like, you know, Mitch has been gone for a couple of years, Joe's been gone for a couple of years. You don't think they've been around other yeah, yeah. front offices and the successful front offices, and what are y'all doing? And, and picking up those new things and saying, okay, I'm going to try and incorporate that with what I used to do back in the day. You're nuts. These guys are basketball lifers. It's not like they're, they're stuck in whatever era they were. I think you're very right about Kemba Walker, too, though, because if I'm Kemba, I'm absolutely yeah. wanting a meeting as quickly as possible.